Morning to you. Thank God it's Thursday where we discuss our health. Welcome to Family and Values on Galaxy Television where we are reaching out for the stars. Yes, the stars. We are reaching out for them. Family and Values is a show where we talk about everything that has to do with family. The values we've lost, we are trying to bring back to the society. The Gen Z's need to understand those African proverbs, meanings, values that we all had passed from, from generations to generations. It's a show where we talk about relationship. Yes, if you're dating, if you're in courtship, the red flags, everything you need to observe before you enter into that relationship. We also talk about the family itself, where we talk about the kids, parenting, everything you need to know about family. We discuss it here on the show. And yes, our Thursdays are dedicated to health. What is your wealth? That's a good health. And every good family has to be healthy. So that's why we keep our Thursdays where we talk about the health concerns that concern family, that concern the both of us, that concern the society at large. I used to say something, every mad person on the road belongs to a family. So you see, family is the bedrock of every good society. Welcome to the show. We are streaming across all our social media platforms. Please download the Galaxy Mobile app so that you can watch us on the go. Turn on your Facebook X notification because right now we are on your screen. Yes. And I used to say, you know, when you... This month happens to be my birthday month. I'm still <laughs> celebrating. I told you from the beginning. I said, what you give me as a birthday gift, aside the money, you know, go to our YouTube and subscribe. Take that page to a higher level. Okay. My next remember Princess Joy Abu. And I used to say, when you see these beautiful faces on your screen, you know, it's time for family and values. And I came off it in the studio because, yes, it's healthy. Because I checked my BP this morning. Do check it. <laughs> if you did, send us a message. Let's know what your BP is saying this morning. Did you exercise? Did you do that counting? List? Okay. On that note, let me bring in our mama, Jazzy Olori. She's not fitted this morning. Good morning. Am I all fitted? Yes, you are. Me. You are. You are. It is the trainers I will take. They are not seeing me. I'm seeing it. I've said it on air. Good morning. A beautiful morning to you, Joy. It's oh, so okay. good to be here. A beautiful morning to you, our viewers out there. It's so good to be here. Like, we we'll always want to draw you to join us on all our social media platforms. Now, please bring your goods and services. It's all about you. It's all about the family. And anything you want to sell, you want to draw out there. Because I stopped that to hold it came to along. So you know that stress again, taking that pedestrian home, it wasn't funny. Forget it. It is no, not funny. No, my friends call me Olori Adejoke. Olori Adejoke, my friends call me Olori AJ. So you are coming to the program and we hope to have a wonderful and splendid time. Yes, we hope to. It's going to be a wonderful fellowship here. Yes. So, I was I able to. I have always mind, but something happened while I was coming. Now, you see, there when you have, there will there will there. When you have drivers that. who are not conscious, you know, there's something when you're driving. I think you have to talk about your mentor. You need to be conscious because you don't know who is in front, who is yeah. at your back. Mm -hmm. So where the vehicle I entered was actually, but the man in front just held brakes. And there was this guy that was trying to cross the road and the keke hit the man. Oh, my God. Thank God he was coming from the gym. So he immediately, you know, stood up and, but I'm sure he must have, because to even, you know, I, I, 
in my mind I was already like, wait, what would have happened? Assuming we were on speed, you know, for you to hold brakes immediately, I don't know how you uh, do they, it. They're, they're the passengers you want to pick, they are not going to run. Your passengers will always be your passengers. I don't understand. No, they believe their passengers will be snatched. Uh -huh. It's just like when you go to the marketplace and you have all the passengers. Mm. And it, it, mommy joy, mommy joy. Okay? Everybody wants to sell their paper ah. and go home quickly or no, do no, other no, things. No, so I think we need to do it's, better. It's just a better, way, yes. it, it's a mindset. It's like a I mindset. will always sell any, if I find any commercial paper, even if it, even if it's right. You need to be conscious of the fact that you are the only same person driving at time. Me. And so whatever it is, whoever God has blessed see, some people will run, 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 they will not, they will not, they will not see one. More than one, you know, go and come do back. Do that sometimes. Some <laughs> will just do, you know, pick at, and before you know it, they will even have more than some of we is running in a basket of that picking, running. Do you know that sometimes that is really there's how I'll enter a vehicle and in my mind I'll say it's only me you carry it to when you go. I'm told it to be only me. The ivory part I used to say that if I notice you're the type that is very very cautious, you want to screw, you want to carry your, from here to here, you want to stop. In my mind, I'll say, Don't worry, I'll be the only one that will say. And truly, God honors that. I will just balance. Oh you my God, you to get the because you need to be conscious of what you're looking people. at you right now. They will tag your face, they will tag your face. I'm not afraid of not your social media. Say, This one is a nice face. Don't pick up. Because I know it's always annoying. It's annoying. It's always annoying. It's always annoying. It's always annoying. Anyway. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, we yes. see yes. and things you come across every day. That's why we're here. Yes. So yesterday, and when we gave the shout out, somebody later replied on the Facebook and said, "Yeah, I just lost. I think my grandma." So the yeah. shout out. So we are sending a shout out to everyone that is celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. You lost someone, your money, you know. Because when you're giving shout out to your cousin, I was like, "Oh, thank God for that shout out." Because me too, you know. So yes, we yeah. love you. That's what family is all about. And we should we always you. remember yes. that when you do this, it goes a long mm. way. You may not even have a time to give them, yes. but it shows that you have the consciousness that you have them at heart, exactly. and you remember that they are there. So that it goes a long way. It yeah. does go a long way. Okay, let's go to the business of the day. Let's go on our mini feature. When we come back, we have a handsome guest seated, a medical practitioner, waiting to deliver to us this morning. We'll be right back. See you on the other side. Welcome back from that mini feature. We will be discussing common code. Mm. The weather these days has not been friendly to everyone. You know, you notice that towards the evening, even every time from morning, afternoon, evening, this wind is just blowing. In fact, it got to a point hard to close all the windows. Everything is just, I've been bathing cold, hot water for this, and that's unlike, you know, matter how cold it is, I'll still take that cold shower. But these days, I can't withstand the cold. You know, it's really getting to me. And then, People are sneezing, coughing, running nose, the kids, you know, everybody. And we said, okay, let's search this topic. Let's talk about common cold. How common is it? You know, they may be saying, I have cold, mm -mm. I have cats, mm -mm. you know, what do I know? My I'm sneezing. How common is this common cold? Okay, we have a very handsome medical practitioner. He is a pharmacist, he's blushing. He's a pharmacist. You see him at first, you know, all these Bukuru people, thank God now they are handsome. Before, those that used to be Bukuru, they used to have one for me. <laughs> but we thank God, medical people, they are always very handsome. Always looking punch, you know. Okay, we have, <laughs> we have pharmacists, they see, but Jude with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the fellowship. Welcome thank to you so our much. fellowship. <laughs> Family fellowship. That's why you're putting on all black. See, I say ah. very handsome. He's <laughs> blushing already. <laughs> okay. Let's see, but let's discuss this topic. Common code. What is common code? And is it something we should worry about? Is it something we should start um, getting worried anytime somebody comes down with it? I say, okay, I have kata. What is it? I have kata. What is it? Everybody, before you know it, the whole family is down with sneezing. And you just notice it goes on. So, so what is common code? And is this something we need to be worried about? Okay. So common code, it's just, it just means a viral attack. Okay. By specific um, viruses. 
they attack the system and then they bring it down such a way you start having those um, symptoms that you have. Okay. Usually the most common virus being affected is um, the rhinovirus. Mm. Okay? We also have the coronavirus too, the one that mm. plagued us some years mm. ago. Yeah, that was, a, that was a difficult strain. It's not like it hasn't been around. Okay. It's been around for a while, but that was a, like a virulent start. What, what we call virulent is like they are very, very dangerous um, um, mutations of the virus. So that was what attacked us a few years back. The virus has been around for a while. We have other species of the virus. So when they come into the system, they attack it, and then you have those um, symptoms which we have. So those um, symptoms that come up are the running nose, the fever, the watery eyes, and all that. So they are just your body's um, response to these viruses coming in. Yes. So you notice the cutter coming out, that's your body's defense to push out those viruses that get into the system. Yes. And then your system has to bring up the temperature, bring it up in such a way that it makes the environment uncomfortable for the virus to thrive. Right? Yes. So that's why you see most of these symptoms we have is just our body trying to protect itself to protect from itself. the virus. Oh. Yes, okay. okay. Um, I wanted to ask. Now I'm still going to ask, what are the causes? And how bad can this common cold be? Either for a baby, who can talk, who can tell you, Mommy, I can't even do this. You know, if you can talk, it's quite different. <laughs> yes, yes, but for sure. babies, who are still very, you know, tender, and uh, they can't explain themselves how they feel. Because, of course, they do get common cold, especially when they're exposed while in the process of maybe their bath or not wearing the right clothes for them at a particular weather and all that. So what are the causes and how bad can a common cold be if not treated? Okay. So the causes of this um, virus, uh, this sickness, is just viruses that cause them. Some other things can play a role in it, <coughs> but primarily it's a virus that causes it. Okay. So you could have like a congested room. Mm. Okay. So like once there are people with the virus there, they cough, they sneeze out, mm. primarily because the uh, virus is being transmitted airborne. So it has to come in through either the nose or the mouth, and it affects the respiratory system there, right? So um, when you breathe in the virus, or maybe like during the uh, coronavirus period, you saw yeah. the means by which we get them. Surfaces, you just pick them up from surfaces and then you just touch the face, around the eyes, around the nose, around the mouth, then they can get in through those means. And then we have the um, the kissing people. So if you kiss somebody Why are with... You smiling? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, we have the mature man sitting there. It's not married. It's not married. There, it doesn't oh, kiss. Kiss. Don't kiss. Ah, so. Now, kiss is a common thing. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. So, to the kissing people, continue. Yes. <laughs> So, no, 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 no. Well, I'm, I'm saying um, those people that um, engage in um, kissing with people who have, you, you see, person has flu, but you want to be romantic, so mm -hmm. you're like, ah, let me just you know, stay with the person. Marshall. Yeah, you get it straight up. So, how you know, dangerous, how dangerous so, can it be um, if it's not properly treated or not treated yeah. at all? Yeah, it's, it's, it's <coughs> usually not dangerous. Okay. So, um, the virus comes into the system. A day to three days that started um, okay. infecting the system and the symptoms start coming out. They peak around like four to seven. Hmm. Yes, and from like day seven to ten, on an average, it's not everybody on an average, it's supposed to just go. go. Yes. Well, sometimes it can be very, very bad and then it can cause co infections, right? Because usually um, the uh, cold virus might. might possibly come with um, the flu virus, okay. influenza, yes. So these things can complicate the system, oh. yeah, leading to other co-infections. Oh. So that's when it becomes dangerous. That's why you hear uh, the wheezing, you see the shortness of breath oh. and all that. At that point, you should quickly get to the hospital, go see a doctor immediately.
us. Okay, now you know, um, when we were growing up, African mothers were always holding nose <laughs> because I'm saying this in respect oh. to uh, <laughs> the question she asked, you know. Yes. A baby, an infant that cannot, you know, and then you're just seeing Muko, ah, and then they'll just hold the baby and they are dragging and trying to. How dangerous is that to the health of the baby? Mm -hmm. Because they'll say that's the only way I can get this out, you know. They taught me that thing to tomorrow I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. I won't even do it, you know. Like you're yeah, like, you know, you're sucking it. What's, what's you know how to suck, um, what do you call this? Uh, Pericles. Uh -huh, out of the <laughs> That's the way they do it. And then you just sit down the mouth. Yes. And so, Forgive me, I'm a mom. And then they'll just hold it and then you'll you just like, it before. And then they'll just Because uh, many of out. them, let me, let me just check mm. this. Because he's not married, but I know he is. Yes. Married, so you understand. But experience says it as teacher. Yeah. Now, <laughs> uh, um, the, the reason why many do that is because in the process of trying to use the cutting board, yeah. To clear a stopped nose, you know, nose of a baby. Some are not too careful. The African way of doing it, whether you are from east, north, south, west, is to do Stop it that it. way. They do it because they believe you are relieving that child of the discomfort he or she is going through as a baby. Sure. And again, some the process of trying to clean it. To clean the nostrils, you understand, they can use their nails to injure the baby. So it comes with many things, but you know, we we'll always have that own primitive way, way of, of trying to do things and just to relieve. The, I even want to, I was thinking you wanted to talk about when a baby is not eating and you want to, you know, feed the baby. Yeah, that, that, the that, 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 that was what I also thought she wanted to. So, 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 yeah, we can now answer a question. But okay. we have given you why we ah. mothers. And also, <laughs> to <laughs> that question, where you need to, you know, they will hold the baby like this, hold the nose, and then they are stalking on the baby. <laughs> <laughs> then the baby is going to like, hey, God. So, now, how, how, oh risky, my how safe is that method of, you know, dragging the, the, the moko out, out of, of the, the baby? baby is this in that method? Mm, I can't I can't really say it's safe or it's unsafe because babies don't really talk so you mm. can't know exactly what's going, what's on, with going them, on with them right but um, what I'll say is this it's it's more dangerous to the parents that's sucking it out however our immune system is high enough to like handle most of those um, viruses mm. that have come that go around right mm. uh, except it's a special case like the COVID. Yeah, uh -huh. COVID. And you don't just suck it out. And we we are not like in close communication of viruses, so you can't know when it's bad it's for you. It's bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> so you just might be in a pinch the day that you just go. <laughs> the day you decided to yes. do one bad virus will just come from nowhere. And okay. get <laughs> However, the the child is not in any serious danger mm. until you start hearing the wheezing. Okay. They will always make that that sound. Mm. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. when, you, when you get that, you know, oh, there's something okay. wrong. So I always tell people, children, once they have any particular symptom, mm. take them to the hospital. Don't, don't make your pharmacy your first point. Mm. Pharmacist, I'll tell you, don't make pharmacy your first point. Your first point. point. Kids, especially those under two years, take them to the hospital first. Once they have, because they can't complain. Mm. So they don't know much. Okay. We can only treat symptomatically. Okay, so if you need something for a faster relief, you come to the pharmacy, you get it. But that child should still visit the hospital. You never can tell. There can be a complication mm. that we don't know about. Okay. Yeah. And again, when you don't have the proper record of your child, because it's not all parents. Yes. You know, see mother or father that know every uh, medical record. Mm. Uh, you know, related to the child. Mm. So it might even be an asthmatic patient. Sure. It's okay. Okay, let's go on our one of Marble. And when we return, we are still discussing common cold weed pharmacist in Cibo the handsome pharmacist in the building. I'll still include that handsome. I don't mind. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. Like, um, we 
have been discussing Kalman Code. So if you're just joining us, this is Family and Value on Galaxy Television. You missed the first part of our conversation, but hey, not to worry, we are streaming live across all our social media platforms. And you can always go back to this conversation, go back to the topic, listen to it, share it on all your church platforms. This period, this particular topic, everybody needs to hear because there's somebody in your family around you that is sneezing and coughing and you know so now you've understood what our pharmacist has been saying mm -hmm. now and i love what we we're saying before we went on that break but now let me ask you what are the risks um, the common risk factors for common cold that you will say okay these are risk factors when you notice when you see like she was saying something for those who are asthmatic you know, for some people like us, you know, and then people that are allergic, every little thing, you know, yeah. like me, they will ask me, is it that January to December, you're always dragging your nose? For some <laughs> reason, I don't know, even if there is no cold anywhere, yeah. once I am just in contact with a strong pair for some, I think I come down with it immediately, and the whole day I'm dragging my nose, in fact, last week Thursday, and the doctor said, do you have to, should I stay away from So what are those risk factors that are associated with common cold? Okay. So I think the first thing would be to distinguish some of these things. Mm. So common cold is like different from the asthma, different from the allergy mm -hmm. and all that. So they are all like different um, sicknesses, illness, infections. And um, in some cases, like the common cold is an infection, mm -hmm. right? We have pneumonia, so it's also an infection, mm -hmm. but that's bacteria, that's by the way. So um, the risk factors for um, common cold, like I said, it's like it's an infection, so it has to be transmitted from somewhere to the other. You mm. just don't get it anyhow, it has to move from somewhere to another place. So, a closed environment could be part of the reasons for it. Then, those that sneeze, like I said, you sneeze out, sneeze out without caution, without caution, without caution, without caution. In this you know, indiscriminately. Yeah. You know, don't put caution to you. Well, you know, something is about, yeah, there are some sneezing that comes subconsciously. Mm -hmm. You understand? But there are ways you know that with this prayer that is coming close to me, I'm likely to go into sneezing. Mm -hmm. So, you find a way. How do we do that? Oh, yeah, teach oh us. okay. So, um, I was still chipping just a little more. Like some people, their immune system comes down. Mm. So the immune system is fighting some other things and all that. So it's depreciated. Because it's the way the immune system works. It starts attacking. Once the um, infection becomes much or whatever foreign particle is invading the system becomes much, then it goes to go and get more help. Yeah. So that period where it's been invaded, that's where we come down to most of the symptoms that we yeah. have. Okay. So um, when this immune system comes down, it gives room for these viruses because once you get a virus, that's it. You've gotten it. There's no like let's kill it off like bacteria. Yeah. It's in the system is that it's there. It's just that your immune system is constantly fighting it to bring it down. So yeah. you don't come up with the symptoms. So if you bring down that immune system, they have the chance to like come out. So that's uh, really what goes on when your immune system comes down. When you have malaria, you have typhoid, you start having flu, you start mm. feeling cold and all that. Yes, this is what happens. Your immune system is down at that point and then so the, the virus things, that has been inside is just they come up, just come start up. thriving. Yes. So that's what happens. That's another um, risk factor to it. And then there is the smoking soon. Mm -hmm. So people can smoke and then maybe they have the virus and then they are coughing it out. Mm -hmm. So as a secondary smoker, okay. you that stays around you smoker not can not easily inhaling just by get inhaling it. it. Yes, by inhaling it. Hey, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why uh, they say um, like smokers, like those around them are even worse off. They are, they are even the best, they are the best chimney around. <laughs> they, they just take yes, it. Yes, you take it in. And you take other things in too. Mm. So, yes. But, but come on. We, if they say we are the, <laughs> the risk takers. So, you know, I was coming from the island, uh, I think on Wednesday or so. Mm. Yes, it was Wednesday, Tuesday. And on the bridge, you, you have some guys, they were playing ball down and we were staying and there was traffic. Hey! Oh, man, see, puffy. <laughs> this puffy marijuana 
So for people who are not, you know, at that time you're passing and you're in that traffic, and there is nothing you can do at that point. You just have to inhale it. You have to inhale it. Uh, like someone like me, I still carry my nose mask. Okay. I still nice. carry my sanitizer. Nice. So I was able to bring it out of the <laughs> immediately to and cover just your feet. For people who mm. did not do such or who are not privy to this kind of precaution to uh, expose to this danger, what do you think they should do when they get home or when they get to a safe place? Is there anything they can do? Well. Because they have inhaled out of those, you know, illicit drugs. Um, very true. Because what, I, what can they do? I remember my son telling me a few days ago, Mommy, please don't send me to a social person's shop. I said, well, when I get there, he smokes cigarettes and they, he, immediately I said, hey, seven years ago, don't go there. They don't even near. Don't near. He said, if I want to buy something, he's smoking and the whole. And me, I'm like, if, if me as an adult, seven, I said, don't worry. No. So what, what can they do? Because they've taken part of those um, uh, smell. Okay. that came out. Yeah. So what can be done? Okay, so um, the COVID period, it taught us everything we needed to know. Yeah. About really, you cannot remember what you know, like yes. that when we, it is when yeah, something is that doing you, everything as soon as it do you like this, we are all gone. You we are gone. Mm. So what can they do? Yes, doctor? so um, like I was saying, it's the COVID period special. That's what I just call it. Mm. So you stick to what we did during covid you wear a mask you sanitize you clean surfaces when you get home you wash your hands properly i know guys we we shake ourselves a lot. Ah. <laughs> it's a nature for the guys yes. so don't i'm more of a bump fist guy but yeah. we shake hands a lot so you pick up these things even from transactions money transactions ah. you take money from somebody those people have touched mm. Something. You don't know those that have coughed and there, touched mm. it. So you, the only person you can take care of is yourself. So you try as much as possible. You wear a nose mask. You put on your gloves if you can. If you are, if you don't want to, you uh, and use hand sanitizer. Yes, yes. that's what we do. That. That's what we do. <laughs> but we don't know. The COVID won't have spread much if we were sticking to most of these things. So it's just a hygiene problem. That's what we are having. Okay. And then there's also the hydration part. You hydrate too. And then you take immune boosters. Immune boosters are very, very important. They are very important. Like um, um, those that contain selenium, vitamin C, the high strength for adults, 1,000 to 2,000 milligram. Should be okay. Yeah. He's expensive for kids. He's expensive. <laughs> no, I'm talking about your. I'm speaking about your. He knows. He knows. He knows. If you go and visit them, know. he knows. I need to. I need to he call knows. his and attention. Then for kids. As a pharmacist, <laughs> he's expensive now. And so then for kids, you need to get it because maybe I still do counting <laughs> for kids. Ah, okay. For kids, kids, their doses are lower. Mm. Also, so if they can go to like 500 in, in milligram per day. This dose is something per day. Like yes. But is that 500 milligrams? Yeah, sure. Milligram. Yeah, so in chewable forms. Okay, those my little little ones. Yes. Oh, seriously. So those little ones little in the cups uh, are 100 milligrams each. So if you take up to five, you've attained that dose. 500. Right? Yeah. And then if you take up to 10, you've attained. That one too is expensive yeah. now. We used to buy 350. Now ah. it's 1,005 or 1,000. Ah. He knows. He, he's oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Knows, knows. Knows. I love the house. fact that you all already know the prices so of this drug. Are, anyway. I'm speaking. I'm, pro, I'm speaking on your behalf now. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, so my guess one. I'm sure you have one as fair. Okay, know. doctor. How can we prevent this common cold? Okay. And uh, like you're talking about vitamin C and what can be taken. Um, is it? Um, is it? Um, how do I put it now? Is it okay? Let me put it that way. For anyone to go um, on the counter to get a prescription or to take particular self medication, yeah. all in the name of trying to get rid yeah. of common cold, mm -hmm. or are there own remedies one can, you know, put together? So you have three in one. They have okay. to answer it. Thank you. Okay. So <laughs> let me get this straight. Mm. The first question: 
the pre prevention. prevention. Then we have the over the, the counter, right? And the whole the whole remedies. Remedies. Okay. Together, so. okay, okay. So, um, thank God, it's common code we are talking about. <laughs> yes. So yeah. There's no prescription drug for this. Okay. Right? Like I said, the body will easily fight it. To fight it, take care of it, okay. even without um, taking anything. The body will still fight it. However, you can take some things to improve okay. your your, so, so your state of health, your yes, please. <coughs> so um, you can use these drugs. They call them antihistamine drugs. Okay. okay. You have your loratadine. I know that one is very common. Mm. You have pyritin. Mm. Uh -huh. Many people that don't have cold want to take pyritin to sleep on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just a side effect. Mm. So the, the major thing is to like limit the histamine and then relieve the person. And then we have um, the anti-inflammatory drugs, right? The um, diclofenac, the ibuprofen. Please take advice before you take those drugs. Uh, I know they are painkillers. People love using them whenever they have so pain. So they won't abuse them? Yeah. So you need to see your doctor before you can you yes. know, get those drugs. People, see, people talk about uh, food for ulcer. Those things cause ulcer mm. if they are abused. So, yeah. So, um, you can use those for the headaches that come with the, um, with the, with the cold. Mm. Yes, we just try to treat the symptoms. So, home remedies, you can hydrate, you can warm up a bit as much as possible. Try to stay away from people. You can take your ginger, your garlic and all that. There are some, even though we've not confirmed it, but there are some people who say, that yes, these things help. Yes, you they help. Now, so, <laughs> yes, but um, fruits, fruits do help because they're a good source of uh, vitamin C. Yeah, 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 especially like the oranges and all that. Yeah. But for ulcer patients, please keep away from pineapples and some uh, other things. They can aggravate those ulcers. What about apples? Uh, apples are good. They are very good. Apples are very good. You already promised me that I'm coming to get some immune boosters from me, so I'm not going to get that in okay. my this Okay, okay. 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 So, so I, I think we had we had the um, prevention. The prevention. Okay. We've not talked about prevention. I uh, uh, okay, yes. The prevention, prevention is please stay away. That's it. Stay away from people that have. Even if it's your wife. Even if it's your or wife. Your even if it's your husband. If you want to get it. If you want means, to get it, ticket is free too. By all means. But if you are trying to prevent yourself or your kids from having it, if your partner has it, please stay away. That's the best thing you can do for yeah, yourself period. and for them. Because, days, yes, you are extending it. So what happens is this. You say you want to be romantic, okay, and then you get it from your partner. The moment your partner is recovering, you're, you're going, going you're down. It yes, and if it's if it now mutates that fast, your partner also wants to be romantic too. You get, you give it back. So it's like it's, it's moving going back, to back, back and forth. Yeah, depending on how much mutation the virus goes mm. through. Yes, so it can stick around for a while. So the best thing you can do is, if you have it, inform your partner and just and stay, stay in. And then the children, the children, you know, sometimes, you know, we have those things and, okay, a few days ago, I got back from work and my daughter was already sneezing and about when I left the house, you were not having all this. Then I now realized that because I had cold, so probably, you know, hugging and, you know, pecking and not knowing mommy she must have. I'm like, okay, fine. So now, cases like so that. You. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, good job. So cases like that, how do one handle it? Because the kids want to be petty. You can't just push them away like, hey, no, 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 it's a no-go area. How do you sort to tell them that, you know, this period, I just want to be left. They don't want to even want that period, they want to be left. So how do you sort to tell them that, okay, you know what, for this period, just stay, let me stay and... Oh. And even to your partner, your partner says, it's not common cool. He says, every day and I die. It's not cool that all of us have every day. That, that's you hear yeah, that's a whole lot, but it's very true. Yes, true. They'll tell every day, it's not common cool. Uh, is it today we are having cooked? My friend come here. Yes, <laughs> so, we are choosing now. <laughs> yes. But 
basically for the kids, kids. for the kids yeah how do you okay. so for the kids you just have to like take care of yourself you know they are going to come and hug mm. so what you can do is you sanitize your hands mm. you wash up okay mm. try and stick to Hugging <laughs> down and hugging mwah. down and mwah. Yes. From a distance. Okay, hugging down and yes. okay, from yeah, distance. I, I'm not sure they are as tall as you are. I don't know. My daughter is almost my height. She's almost yeah. there. Uh, uh, so what sorry. Would you do like this? Sorry. <laughs> oh, just like this. Hello. <laughs> You can't hold oh this. But you said you are a fist person. Now, is did not transmitted through. You, you said you give more of um, a fist than a handshake. Yeah, yeah, sure. So is this not more? Like for instance, I'm giving a lorry. Give me a fist, Jack. I'm doing like <laughs> that. I have the flu. I have the cold. Is it? Is she not going to get it or something? Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, it's it's, it's like less. <laughs> 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 oh. You know, when I'm changing my bag, I this guy looks every person. Mm. But it's really useful to me. Sometimes if I don't get water to wash my hands immediately when I needed it, and I have to do something, I use my sanitizer, mm. and I just have like two, three times to massage it, and see, you know. Or if there is any itch, you know, I feel some itches here and there. I just pour it there. And you understand? Mm. Because sometimes, as a result of dust, germs that just, and your body is trying to resist it at that particular point in time. So God will help us, uh, but we should help ourselves first, yes. because God is trying his best. We all just need to outside. Us. What about those people that are fond of picking their nose? Ah, oh, hey, uh -huh. that's another one. Joy, it, you it, see it. Joy, it's just it, it, <laughs> no, no, because these are all the things you see it everywhere. Somebody is standing and he's talking to you and he's picking your nose <laughs> and he's expecting to use the same hand to and, and this can be so irritating that now what causes that stuffy move for that everybody you just see and if some of them are just bring out something and then they'll be doing it with their hand and I'm doing it like oh <laughs> what is it still common cold that or uh, still the infection that is causing all of that? Yes, yes, yes. It's um there are a variety of things that can cause the, that can cause the um, the mucus to mm, come out. Okay. Basically, the nose is just trying to clean itself. That's oh. all that's happening. Okay. That's the mucus we are saying. Okay. So the the mucosal gland is just going to bring out fluid to push all those things out. So that's when you see. That's why you can get an infection from the catar that mucus happen. that's coming out, right? So um, you try as much as possible to keep away from people that pick their nose. Especially those that use their right hand that they used to shake people to pick their nose. It's very, very bad. It's yeah. not it's not like I said, it's a hygiene problem. Wow. Right? For the fist bump, like you can get it from like if it's good people that have good hygiene that just cough into their elbows mm -hmm. and all that, you might not get it. Like I said, it has to be transmitted from somewhere so to the other. And viruses are not the type that thrive outside um the body system because mm -hmm. they need the body um, cells to reproduce yes wow. so if there's no body cells to reproduce it's the amount to dish out that stays there okay. so it's, right? it's not going to go around please remind us how to cough again and how to sneeze if you're in public places just for those that just remind us that one how do we cough and how and do how we sneeze when we're in public places oh. so round off. you just cough into your elbow <laughs> Yeah, just like this. Okay, just like <laughs> yes. this. And the hand sanitizers, there's a mistake we make because of like the economical states okay. that we are in. People just take one small thing and do like this. And that's not it. It has okay. to be much. Okay. Yes. And it has to stay for a while. So it's, it's, a, it's dependent on both the amounts and time to kill off the germs that it needs to kill. So if you just put a little thing to like this, it dries off. It might not have done anything for you. Mm. So you put it off and allow it to stay. And you make sure it goes round. Yes. And then for sneezing. For sneezing and all that, you can just do it. You won't own. shake anybody with this place. Okay. So okay. you just do that. So yes, it's your own. It's your own. If you are the type that wears makeup, that works for you, I ah. you. And you're wearing white like me, and you want me to. You <laughs> <laughs> <In> dab, no? You <laughs> <In> dab. <laughs> don't go in the direction where you know there is someone 
Yes, so yes. you need to watch out. Yeah. So you come to this kind of direction. Where case like uh, <laughs> five walking or seven walking steps away from me, and mm -hmm. and then you, keep you your know distance. you sneeze. Keep your distance. Keep Make your sure distance. you are not going to sneeze and it spread around the whole place. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you very thank you much, so much for, for, for being part of our fellowship this morning. Thank yeah. you for yeah. making it lighter for us. Thank yeah. you. So um, it's another wonderful time we've spent together this morning and I'm sure you picked one or two things that will actually work well for you and keep you healthy especially this period where the weather and everywhere around us will be uh, rain, little drowsiness and showers here and there keep yourself warm and when it is hot keep yourself light so that but I didn't say you should start walking naked and especially those children please before you leave home and you see the weather, you have seen the forecast, and if you are the type that don't see the weather forecast, <laughs> then, then it's God. Just make sure you have clothes for them at different places they can always put on because you are not going to be home. So that they will not go and disturb and scatter the whole world too before you come back. On that note, my name is Remino Nerato Jokian David. Uh, please follow us on our social media, share it, like it, follow us. We love you. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Okay, yes, today, Healthy Thursday, you've heard it, come on, code. It's not as common as they say, you know, and I just can't find out if you have it, don't come near me. Now, I'm putting boundaries, don't come, don't, don't, don't be near me, stay here. Except you don't give me money, do transfer. So I will sanitize the money and do it like this. Don't worry. Okay, tomorrow is Friday, and we will be discussing, are you in love? lost or you're infatuated because some of you you're confused all the relationship talking we've been talking about most of you say i don't know whether i love him i don't tomorrow we are going to have a jersey in the studio that will tell us what it means if you're in love if you're infatuated or you're lost what are you lost in about all right my name is remain princess joy abu we'll see you tomorrow have a splendid thursday and stay healthy wash your hands regularly and Sneeze and come into your elbow. Learn to that. It's now you make that dancing step. That. <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>